This is Dr. David W. Kim. Today's facial plastic surgery video blog is about IPL or intense pulse light. This technology has been around for many years and has been very helpful in allowing people to have more youthful appearing skin by reducing brown and red pigmentation, particularly in the face. Now there's exciting research that suggests IPL may do more than just make skin look younger. It may actually activate anti-aging genes which can help transform older skin to younger skin. This brief presentation will cover some of the highlights of IPL, both in the traditional benefits as well as some of the newer developments. Essentially, IPL is broadband light. Light is made up of several wavelengths, and broadband light captures many of these wavelengths, particularly the wavelengths that help to target melanin, hemoglobin, and water. These targets allow for the selective reduction of brown and red spots in the skin, as well as the stimulation of collagen. This allows for more evenly colored and textured skin, which typically is indicative of youthful looking skin. These are some examples. This is the reduction of brown from a before and after of a typical patient, and reduction of red or vascular markings from before and after. This is the Vectra three-dimensional computer facial analysis program that we use in the office. I use this often for surgical patients, but it's also helpful in creating an image that can help identify some of the target problems with pigment. So this is a picture of me using the cutaneous analysis module within the Vectra. The subcutaneous brown dyschromia or brown pigmentation comes out and the red pigmentation also comes out. This is a very helpful tool to determine the potential benefit for any given patient. Really exciting recent research uh, has found that IPL in animal models actually can reactivate dormant anti-aging genes. These are the genes that help maintain skin, help maintain collagen organization, and keep skin looking younger. And these are genes that deactivate as we get older. So IPL has the capacity not only to make old skin look younger, but actually by the activation of these dormant genes, the potential to transform old skin into younger skin. Now the procedure itself is a very easy in-office 30 to 60 minute procedure. There's no downtime, there's minimal pain. Uh, this again is me receiving treatment from my nurse. Uh, we use a topical numbing cream to help reduce the discomfort. Um, I'm not particularly someone who has a high pain tolerance, so the fact that I can tolerate this procedure quite easily really is indicative of its relative ease of comfort. Uh, the risks are very low. After three to five treatments, patients typically see maximal effect, uh, but even after one to two treatments, some effect can be seen. This is the preoperative image of the left side of my face. One day after surgery, you start to see some of the brown discoloration, which is my main issue, start to darken. And by day three to five, you see these dark flecks really look dark and start to come to the surface. And the eventually fade between weeks one and two. And this is my face at the two week point with significant reduction of the brown dyschromia, even after just one treatment. And this is a more close up version uh, which shows uh, the, eradic the eradication of many of these brown spots. I will continue this treatment and continue to post uh, results uh, after a full course of treatment. In summary, I can tell you that IPL is one of my favorite tools in facial rejuvenation. It's made many of my patients very satisfied and pleased by achieving more youthful skin by reducing brown and red pigmentation and making the skin look more even. But now, with this exciting new research, it is promising that IPL may not only change the external appearance of the skin, but may change the actual physiologic nature of the skin by activating these anti-aging genes. This greatly increases the value of IPL in my mind, and it's taking a much larger and larger role in my practice.